Hello coin collectors out there. Welcome back to the Big D Coins channel. If you're looking at this stack of $1 bills and thinking that looks like a punch of old money, well, you are correct. We're going to flip through it here. We start with the 1935 F series and we go all the way to the 1957. A lot of these are the 1957. So we're just going to go through these uh, kind of slowly, take a nice look at each of the bills. Uh, this video will be kind of light on the information. Uh, some of my other videos go into more depth on the silver certificates. So if you're looking for more info on the silver certificates, check out another one of my videos. And this one right here, we're just going to be going through uh, more about quantity of bills rather than getting into the real nitty gritty information on determining the value of these silver certificates. All right, let's start with this one right here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so we can see the series number. So the series number is going to be a crucial part right here. So every time uh, the Secretary of Treasury or the Treasurer of the United States changes, they update the series number. Uh, so instead of making a new year, uh, they just put a little letter after the end of the series. Now they do change the series as well. So we'll go from series 1935 to series 1957 in this video. Now these will have the blue seals on them and they'll say silver, silver certificate up at the top. So that is the case for all of these that go from 1935 up until 1957. After 1957, you won't see any more of these blue seals on your uh, $1 bills. So 1935 Series F, I have all of the different names listed here. So hopefully I'll be able to kind of pull those up as we go. So 1935 Series F, we feature a Priest right here and we feature Anderson on the right. Now, I just wanted to give you a basics. Uh, we talked about uh, the paper money guarantee scale. So as far as the guarantee scale, which goes, uh, the grading scale, which goes from zero to 70, these are probably 10 or less, I would suggest. Uh, so the grading of a four, uh, that means it's a heavily circulated note with numerous problems. It is totally limp which uh, I guess this one isn't totally limp right here. It's got some st st uh, sturdiness to it. Um, with uh, impraised visual appeal, uh, notes that this grade is commonly seen with pieces missing. So maybe this would be a step up from a four. Maybe this would be a six or possibly a eight. But some of the other ones, like we'll see with this one right here, so this one is uh, this one's limp and it, it doesn't stand up on its own and it has a piece missing. So this would probably be get a, a six grade right here. This would get a four grade. So both of those are good. They're definitely not in the very good condition. But we moved on from 1935 F series up until 1957. So the 1935 series actually went all the way till H. I just happen to have only one of them right here that is uh, 1935 and that's the F. So I'm going to zoom back in on these bills. Uh, we saw that the condition of it is kind of in rough shape, but this is the 1957 no series. So for the names we have Priest and Anderson, which is actually interesting, the same names that we were looking at earlier, just a different uh, series. So they were still the treasurer of the United States and the secretary of treasury at the time. And now we flipped it over to see something even more interesting. So we've got a star note. So I went to search this uh, star note serial number on the uh, currency collecting website, which you were able to look up the star notes on. However, they didn't go back to 1957. Maybe the U.S. Mint doesn't um, produce or doesn't say what... Uh, the, what what the mintages were for the year 1957 it doesn't go back that far so a uh, very cool right here i'll zoom out a little bit uh, we can see that this note is in pretty good shape although this coloring right here would detract from the value significantly significantly it's not missing any chunks which is nice so we've got 1957 star note very cool note right here and uh we'll go through the uh, obverse side of all of these first and then we'll flip them over and come come back and look at the uh, reverse side of them so we can see see how there's got a uh, crease right here so that means it must have been folded um, vertically uh, so that will decrease from the value and we've got a, a crease right here as well so that will decrease from the value but definitely 
still going to be worth more money uh, than the face value. So this will be worth about a dollar and fifty cents. That is according um, to the website oldcurrencyvalues.com. So on there, it gives you the uh, prices. The one dollar silver certificates are going to be worth about nineteen thirty-five. Are going to be worth about a dollar and fifty. And the star notes for nineteen thirty-five are going to be worth about three dollars each. Now, if you have one that's never been folded, it's brand new. Um, then you can get a lot more money for it. But the ones that we're looking at right here are kind of worn out. All right, so less talking and still kind of get through these notes. So we're still in the 1957 series. We've switched to 1957A. So 1957A features Smith and Dylan. So we've got Smith on the left right here, and we've got Dylan uh, on the right right here. So those were the new uh, representatives, the treasurer and the secretary of treasury. We flipped it over to 1957B. So 1957B features uh, Granhan, Grahan, right here, G-R-A-N-A-H-A-N, and Dylan on the right. So he represents the 1957 series. Now this one a little bit of a nicer note. So we'll look back. We can see that there aren't as many creases to it, uh, meaning that it was folded less frequently. Very nice looking note right here. All right, on to another 1957B. 1957B, that looks like it got bit by a shark right here. Another 1957B. Another 1957B. One more, uh, two more 1957Bs uh, that kind of show off that are part of this little collection that I've built up. So very cool. Now, uh, just to flip it over and take a look at the reverse side, we're kind of running low on time, but we'll just kind of skim through these. We can see uh, every time you see a crease or you see a chunk missing, that's not a good thing. It, de it decreases from the value of the bill. So some very nice notes right here. If you've got any uh, comments or suggestions as far as videos you'd like to see on the channel, if you're more into the currency or if you're more in uh, the currency and the bills rather than the coins, feel free to let me know. And I can kind of do my best to make uh, any videos that everyone's interested in seeing. Thank you very much, everyone. If you're into coin collecting or currency collecting, please do check out some of the other videos on this channel. Thank you very much and best of luck coin collecting out there. Enjoy.